nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And liftoff of the Atlas V and NOAA's GOES-S, a highly sophisticated weather watching eye in the sky to join its twin in providing better forecasts and saving lives. Atlas has begun a pitch and yaw maneuver to steer to its planned path, an azimuth of 100.7 degrees. At 35 seconds, the rocket carrying goes S reach Mach 1, traveling faster than the speed of sound. Roll program is complete. The speed chamber pressures are rolling off as expected. At 47 seconds after launch, the vehicle will pass through the area of maximum dynamic pressure, or max Q. Mach, max, max Q. This is the point when mechanical stress on the rocket reaches its peak because of the rocket's velocity and the resistance created by the Earth's atmosphere. Booster has throttled up, as expected. You are also hearing the voice of United Launch Alliance flight commentator Marty Malinowski. SRB chamber pressures continue to look good at the plateau. At 1 minute 50 seconds into flight, the first two solid rocket boosters will be jettisoned, followed about a second and a half later an by burnout. other boosters. And we have an indication of SRB burnout. Booster engine continues to perform well. Approximately 10 seconds to SRB jettison. And with indication of four solid to jettison, looks like a clean separation. And a clean separation being reported of the solid rocket boosters. Vehicle we are two minutes, four seconds in the The next major milestone, three minutes, 30 seconds into flight, the payload fairing protecting GOES-S during its flight through the atmosphere will be jettisoned three and a half minutes after launch. Booster has throttled down as expected. Up on the RCS pyro valve activation. We have the RCS pyro valve activation at this point. System is pressurizing the flight levels. Signatures look good. Three minutes into the flight. And booster has throttled back to two and a half G's. Preparation for payload for jettison. Ten seconds away from payload fairing jettison. Up on payload fairing jettison momentarily. And we have good payload fringe separation and CFR jettison. And we have a good payload fairing jettison, exposing GOES S to space for the first time. Signatures look good. We are approaching four minutes into flight. And booster has begun to throttle to 4.6 G's in preparation for a PICO. Boost phase cooldown is underway. Pyro valve has been fired. The call BECO stands for Booster Engine Cutoff. That will happen at 4 minutes 22 seconds into flight. Boost phase chill down is complete. And we have BECO. Shutdown looks good. Six seconds after BECO, the Centaur second engine yeah, and second stage separate. will separate from the Atlas booster. The RL-10 engine, GN-2 purge burn, the RCS is underway. We have ignition and full thrust on the RL-10. 
and the Centaur single engine RL10C engine ignites for the first time. It produces 22,900 pounds of thrust. Our steering has been enabled. Body rates look good. This is about a uh, seven and a half minute burn of the Centaur RL10C engine. As expected. Engine cutoff planned for about seven minutes from now. This is the first of three burns of the Centaur main engine. Just continue to warm towards bottle temperatures. Signatures look good. Since our PU has gone to closed loop control. Current range track shows Centaur making good headway down the middle of the corridor. Current altitude is 129 miles. Downrange distance is 701 miles. Current velocity 13,903 miles per hour. Listening to the voice of United Launch Alliance flight commentator Marty Malinowski describing the flight of the Atlas and Centaur. Basically a nominal booster. Beginning to see the RCS thermal conditioning firing. Signatures look good. RL-10 continues to perform well. Chamber pressures, lax pump discharge, and fuel venturi, all appropriate for the mark. We're seven minutes into the flight of GOES S. Another five minutes remaining in this first burn of the Centaur single engine. Small loss of data has resumed. All signatures look good across the uh, dropout. Current altitude is 146 miles, downrange distance 10, 1094, current velocity is 14,685. Eight minutes after liftoff and everything continues to go well. We have about four more minutes left in the burn of the Centaur main engine cuts off. That would be called Miko 1. Oxidizer rich condition. DC, ox pump discharge and fuel venturi all look good. Centaur tank pressures remain stable. Storage bottle pressures look good. Batteries are also good. Body rates controlling right down the middle. This track continues to show good progress down the middle of the corridor. Three minutes remaining in this burn of the Centaur engine.
Since our main engine burn continues to look very good, chamber pressures, box pump discharge, and fuel vent three, all within expected parameters. And we are 10 minutes into flight. Hydrazine line temperatures have nearly achieved bottle outlet temperatures at this point. Continue to see light RCS firings. Still running slightly oxidizer rich at this point in the burn. A little less than two minutes remain in this burn. All systems look good. And Center is now commanding a nominal MR, having worked off the excess oxidizer error. One minute About to one go. minute remaining in this burn of the Centaur main engine. Our main engine continues to look good. Standing by for seconds. the first of three burns of the Centaur main engine to cut off, also known as Miko 1. Good. Or a selling motors on. CRDs have been safe. And we have Miko. Fuel tank pressures have been vented down. About uh, 12 and a half minutes into flight. We'll be in a coast phase for about the next 10 minutes prior to relighting the Centaur second stage engine for the second of three times today. Centaur has continued its turn to mess two attitude. From Atlas Launch Control, I'm here with Scott Messer, United Launch Alliance Program Manager. Scott, thank you for coming. Thank you. Yes, sir. And tell us a little bit about how this launch is going so far. 
Well, so far it uh, is uh, going almost oh, perfectly. Um, the count was very quiet today. In fact, probably the quietest count that I've been through. Um, actually, from a personal note, uh, the only real big excitement for me was the birth of my uh, fourth grandson this afternoon at uh, T minus three hours and 30 minutes. Well, Daughter, congratulations. Yeah, so that's exciting for me. But uh, the count was very quiet, and uh, so far met all the milestones. Everything is looking good. And so far for this year for United Launch Alliance, this is your third launch in 2018. It is our third launch. Um, and um, it, it, it's, a, it's a great year. It's a big, busy year for NASA. And uh, we've got, uh, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, interesting missions working with NASA. The GOES mission, of course, uh, is our third mission this year, as you said. And um, we've, we've, at United Launch Lines, actually launched every GOES mission that has ever launched uh, since 1975.